Good morning. Welcome to your daily operations weather briefing. Well, we have beautiful conditions out there this morning that will continue throughout the day today. And we're going to see dry conditions expected for the next few days before finally seeing our uh, next chance of rain late this weekend. Uh, probably not until Sunday night or uh, as we get into Monday. So the next uh, several days here are going to continue this dry spell as we go into the weekend with uh, uh, temperatures warming up a bit as well as we go throughout the next couple of days. I want to take a look at our current surface analysis. You can see high pressure ridging over the east coast uh, really no major weather systems uh, making their way towards the mid-atlantic with high pressure and control of air weather and as a result we're going to see uh, pretty dry conditions with uh, mostly sunny skies and comfortable conditions here for the next couple of days before the heat really sets in uh, for our area as we go into the weekend taking a look at our uh, NHC product here you can see uh, we do have a couple of uh, interesting uh, features out there Alberto in the uh, southwestern Gulf of Mexico with maximum sustained winds of 50 miles per hour uh, heavy rains over southeast Texas uh, over the course of the last 24 hours will begin to subside as we go throughout the day today uh, and Alberto expected to make landfall in Mexico over the course of the uh, next few hours. We do have an interesting uh, feature here in the southeast, uh, just off the southeast coast this morning as well. National Hurricane Center giving it about a 40% chance of developing before it uh, makes its way into the uh, Virginia, Georgia coastline. Uh, not expecting any real uh, strong development out of this system. If it does develop, it should be a uh, weak tropical depression or tropical storm and remain fairly unorganized as uh, conditions are not too favorable for develop development over the next uh, 24 to 48 hours. So taking a look here at our uh, current weather here at Wallops, uh, seeing mostly sunny skies with unrestricted visibilities, southeast winds at around three knots and a temperature of 76 degrees, that relative humidity at 84 percent. I want to look at our uh, next several days here uh, as we look at our computer model simulation and uh, as we spoke of earlier we're going to continue to see dry weather uh, throughout the uh, work week and into the weekend uh, with really no uh, threat for precipitation as we go all the way through the day on Saturday again could see something by late Sunday night but it looks like at least uh, most of the weekend will be dry and we will start to see uh, some warmer temperatures uh, make their way into the forecast as well as we go into the uh, weekend. Saturday and Sunday look to be uh, seeing highs right around 90 degrees. Looking at our next couple of days here at Wallops, we're going to see a daytime high today. Pretty comfortable out there with a high of 85 overnight tonight, seeing those temperatures dip into the 60s once again, similar to what we saw here last night. And our winds will be remaining uh, fairly uh, calm as well uh, with uh, winds right around four to eight knots during the morning hours and then breezing up just a little bit as we go into the afternoon up to around seven to 12 knots out of the south the occasional gust up to around 15 knots then seeing the winds dying out uh, once again as we go into the evening and overnight hours tonight your forecast for friday expecting partly cloudy and warm conditions with a high of 87 friday night seeing a little bit warmer uh, conditions for us with the temperatures uh, staying in the low 70s and then for Saturday partly cloudy and warm conditions seeing a little bit more humidity work its way into the uh, wallops area as well for the weekend looking for a high of 90 degrees for your Saturday. That'll wrap it up for today's daily operations weather briefing. We'll be back again at 10 a.m. for a look at your extended forecast. Have a nice day.